We're walking around Manhattan and we found ourselves in, in Central Park. I said, there's a lot of people here, you know, and they couldn't figure out why. And like all these cops and loads of, and like, the more we walked in, the more, more, the more crowded it got. And I figured, walked well, right to the middle of James Taylor live yeah. and, in Central Park. Yeah. And I thought, wow, what a great country, you know, just yeah. get off the boat and go see James Taylor. <laughs> so, actually, you couldn't even look my up. Hundreds of years oh, away, you yeah. couldn't even, there's so many people there, you could hardly see a little shiny head thing. You know. But at first, anyway, you know this, but Paul McCartney kind of discovered James Taylor. He was, um, he was one of the first artists to be signed onto the Apple label. And I remember back in the early 70s, um, he had this show on BBC Two, because we've got three channels by then. And um, he, it was a called the concert, and James Taylor was on there, and I was, you know, like amazed by his guitar work, especially.